người bạn à, Anh ta là người quốc tịch Singapore Anh ta đến Việt Nam và nhờ tôi dịch một cái văn bản cam kết tài sản chung riêng vợ chồng à, Thú thật thì trong cái quá trình anh hỏi về luật trong đó có luật hôn nhân và gia đình à, Thật sự rất là khó để mà trả lời anh về luật hôn nhân và gia đình à, Thì chúng ta biết rằng đại bộ phận ở người luật sư Việt Nam Cái khả năng nói tiếng Anh rất là hạn chế à, Và bản thân tôi thì cũng như vậy à, Thôi thì một chút Và cuối cùng thì tôi cũng quyết định tìm cái nguồn luật về tiếng Anh và đưa đến cho quý vị và các bạn à, Dĩ nhiên nếu như quý vị và các bạn nào không biết tiếng Anh thì chúng ta có thể xem những cái à, tiếng Việt của luật sư các bạn nhé à, Đây cũng là một cái hướng dẫn tuyên truyền pháp luật à, của à, chương trình Dân ta phải biết luật ta à, gửi đến quý vị và các bạn à, Hy vọng rằng chúng ta sẽ ra một cái sân chơi quốc tế Hi everybody, my name to I'm a lawyer in Vietnam. You know, uh, one day uh, I have one a pupil. He he um uh, Singapore. Uh, he asked me uh, a lot of question about the marriage uh, of law in Vietnam. But you know, um, I can't answer him on all them so that you know I think the most of Vietnamese can the lawyer in Vietnamese can uh, speak Vietnamese but uh, um, a little uh, I think a uh, 15% can speak fluency about English or another um, so that I try the best to search in the uh, internet I I give you about the the, the law on marriage and family in Vietnam uh, 2014 uh, you know the the law on marriage and uh, and family in Vietnam tell about the getting married and a relationship between husband and wife a termination of marriage a relationship between parents and children and so on I think I uh, I separate uh, part one, part two, part three uh, to have um, people about the Vietnamese Vietnam uh, marriage uh, if you have a question uh, I uh, try the best yeah I think it's uh, hardly to uh, to say uh, because um, my my English is not fluency so that I try the best thank you article 21 respect for honor dignity and prestige of husband and wife. Husband and wife have the obligation to respect, preserve and protect each other's honor, dignity and prestige. Article 22. Respect for the right to freedom of belief and religion of husband and wife. Husband and wife have the obligation to respect each other's right to freedom of belief and religion. Article 23. Rights and obligations to study, work and take part in political, economic, cultural and social activities. Husband and wife have the right and obligation to create conditions for each other to select professions, study and raise their educational levels and professional qualifications and skills, and take part in political, economic, cultural and social activities. Section 2. Representation between husband and wife. Article 24. Basis for Determination of Representation Between Husband and Wife 1. The representation between husband and wife in establishing, making and terminating transactions shall be determined in accordance with this law, the civil code and other relevant laws. 2. 
husband and wife may authorize each other to establish, make or terminate transactions which, as prescribed by this law, the civil code and other relevant laws, shall be agreed upon by both spouses. 3. A spouse may represent the other when the latter loses his, her civil act capacity while the former is eligible to act as the guardian or when the latter has his, her civil act capacity restricted while the former is designated by a court to act as the at-law representative of his her spouse, unless the latter is required by law to perform by himself, herself related rights and obligations. When a spouse loses his, her civil act capacity and the other requests a court to settle divorce, the court shall designate another person to represent the partner who has lost his, her civil act capacity for settlement of divorce in accordance with the civil code's provisions on guardianship. Article 25. Representation between husband and wife in business relations. 1. When husband and wife jointly run a business, unless otherwise agreed by the husband and wife before taking part in the business relation or otherwise prescribed by this law and other relevant laws, the spouse directly involved in the business relation is the lawful representative of the other in that relation. 2. In case husband and wife put their common property into business activities, article of this law shall apply. Article 26. Representation between husband and wife in case only one spouse is named in the ownership or use right certificate of common property. 1. Representation between husband and wife in establishing, making and terminating transactions related to their common property with ownership or use right certificates on which only one spouse is named must comply with Articles 24 and 25 of this law. 2. In case the spouse named in the property ownership or use right certificate establishes, makes and terminates on his, her own a transaction with a third party in contravention of this law's provisions on representation between husband and wife, that transaction is invalid, unless the interests of the third party in good faith are protected as prescribed by law. Article 27. Joint Liability of Husband and Wife. 1. Husband and wife shall take joint liability for transactions prescribed in Clause 1, Article 30, which are made by either of them, or other transactions made in conformity with provisions on representation of Articles 24, 25 and 26, of this law. 2. Husband and wife shall take joint liability for the obligations prescribed in Article of this law. Section 3. Matrimonial Property Regime. Article 28. Application of the Matrimonial Property Regime. 1. Husband and wife have the right to choose to apply the statutory or agreed property regime. The statutory matrimonial property regime is prescribed in Articles 33 through 46 and Articles 59 through 64 of this law. The agreed matrimonial property regime must comply with Articles 47, 48. 49, 50 and 59 of this law. 2. Articles 29, 30, 31 and 32 of this law shall apply regardless of the property regime chosen by husband and wife. 3. The government shall stipulate in detail the matrimonial property regime. Article 29. General Principles of the Matrimonial Property Regime. 1. Husband and wife have equal rights and obligations in the creation, possession, use and disposition of their common property without discrimination between housework labor and income generating labor. 2. Husband and wife have the obligation to ensure conditions for meeting their family's essential needs. 3. When the performance of property rights and obligations of husband and wife infringes upon lawful rights and interests of the wife husband, their family or other persons, compensation shall be paid. Article 30. Rights and Obligations of Husband and Wife to Meet Their Family's Essential Needs. 1. Husband and wife have the right and obligation to make transactions to meet their family's essential needs. 2. When husband and wife have no common property or their common property is not enough to meet their family's essential needs, 
they shall contribute their separate property according to their financial capacity.